Hi and welcome to C Sharp Object Oriented Tax Calculator. So, all you just need to do is enter the amount of item that you want, and the system will calculate it for you. That is the tax that you pay in for five of these at, at the rate of uh, 4.5. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys straight into C sharp development environment and we we'll put one of these together using object oriented. So let's do that now guys. Alright, let's create a new project. Okay, let's give a program a name. I'm gonna call it C underscore tax. That's it. C S underscore tax. Click on OK. Alright, my form is ready. Let's go straight to the properties and enter a name for our project here so I'm just going to call that tax calculator there and the start position I'm going to get it centered that's fine then the width okay let's set the size the height and width right there okay the next thing I want to do is let me grab three panels let's come right here one here okay let's make that four really one here one down here okay make sure all of the panels are selected let's go straight on to border style here and change it to fix single back color I'm going to make that control back right there and here I now need label one here I need one two three here yeah four actually and one here then I need one label one label right here three labels and one text box text box here and three buttons one button here two and three let's speed up the design of this whole interface and right there that's how the whole interface looks like this is the label the rest are just text box okay the next thing I want to do now is let's go straight to the project here and create a class right there the name of my class I'm going to call it C tax the C stands for class there we go so if you're wondering a class itself is just a definition used to create an object so that's why I'm creating that because the class itself won't be able to perform any carry out any performance but the object will be able to do that for me so let's create the class first and I'm gonna call it public double and let's just say item one I only need one variable there so that is fine the next thing I'm going to do is let's say public double and let's say get amount whatever amount we have in there and this amount I'm just as going to ask it to return item one there we go that is that done I need parentheses here okay the next thing is I might as well just get that out of the way you see right here I'm going to create my just work out how to calculate the tax itself so I might as well just declare something up here for my tax rate I'm gonna call it MC tax underscore rate alright equals let's go for 7 or 0 0.65 that's it so underneath here let's declare something create 
the method public double and I'm gonna call it find tabs then let's enter some argument in there so that's going to be C amount there and right in here we enter as follows double find just a variable in there find the tax itself equals amount minus C amount multiply that by tax rate and undo that that was meant to be here yeah then right here we ask it to return find tax this is supposed to be amount yeah that's all there is to it okay that's my class created there now I will now create an object because without the object we won't be able to do anything with this class so let's go straight inside our form there double click on total right there inside total let's create an object this very object uh, maybe we call it let's just say the name of the class anyway C class and the object itself we can just call that cost cost of item or just cost okay cost equals name C tax that's my object there created that's how you create an object Okay, this very object now that I've just created, I will now enter whatever values inside my text box here. This very text box. So let's go for where are we? we are inside the button. So let's call the cost cost dot okay cost dot item one equals let's say double we need to convert whatever dot dot pass txt quantity dot text okay so we have to convert whatever we have inside the text box to double so that's all the to it now that that is done let's declare some variables right up here those variables I'll use that to store whatever value so the first one is going to be known as I tax and the second one I'm gonna call that I subtotal that's to store tax subtotal and total and I total there those are my variables out of the way now right in here let's enter i sub total itself equals the cost dot and in that case we want get amounts because that's where the calculation took place dot uh now i've just leave it like that anyway i'm not going to convert it yeah that's it okay so we now need to use this to work out the tax itself so let's come into tax and say i tax equals that will be that will be the object that we created because it's the instance of the very class and that's the object is called cost dot find tabs here yeah? okay that very tabs that is right inside the class here so we call that because it's an instant of 
this object is an instance of that class so we now enter in there I'm going to enter I subtotal there there so that is my tax itself worked out now if we want to find the total the total is going to be I total equals I subtotal plus I tax there so all that we just need to do now is to make sure we output all of this because everything is taken care of now let's go and get it out let's output it LBL subtotal dot dot text equals string dot format okay so close that and right here comma we now need subtotal there right there that's for the subtotal taken care of and the next one is going to be the, be the tax let's copy and paste that this will be sub this will be total and this is i total and this one is one of them is going to be tax and okay that's tax change this one to tax right and that's all and that's all there is to it okay i'm going to do one or two things let's say lbl because the whole idea is about tax dot back color equals color dots what let's select anyhow any color here let's see this there okay so i'm going to copy that that is that done so have a good look at these lines of codes here for the tax calculation itself now i'm going to go straight in to reset right then so reset so i'm going to change it to white first of all let's change it to white then ldl subtotal dot equals clear we need to clear that of tax as well though ldl tax dot clear ldl total dot clear yeah that's our clear taken care of now let's take care of the exit double click on the exit and right there inside exit we enter the following lines of codes right there that's exit taken care of okay so let's try out these lines of code that is for the tabs let's come here and run it okay right in this enter any amount there okay once you click on total that's what we get we can always reset or we need to reset this as well and all right but that's just the number of items that we want let's give it a price we can always just come right in here and just multiply that by maybe 4.5 for each item all right that's it and up here let's clear let's clear item as well i'm going to copy that coming to clear here equals clear and that will be all so let's run it enter a value there right there okay so that's how you create your own tax calculator reset but supposing you don't have anything in here we will end up with an error you see that so let's take care of that so right up here you can just use an if statement to check if there's anything there if see actually quantity 
text it was empty I think that is equals equals and then we ask it to do as follows we can ask it enter a value or whatever and let's enter focus that focus get a message box to display the message copy that and just paste the message box in here and say enter quantity okay all right else we want it to carry out the following calculations right here there yeah, that's it taken care of so if I run it and intentionally if I didn't enter anything that's what we get okay enter a value there right there clear yes but here let's change this to okay instead of yes or no okay just change that built in function into okay and run it again enter value in there that is it and that's the total the most important bit is the tax that's how the tax is calculated okay so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now and bye for now